operations at the Cori Nuclear Reactor 1 in Busan have been suspended due to a problem suspected in the turbine system. An electrical accident at the Shinkori Nuclear Power Plant has raised concerns about safety standards there. Three people were injured. South Korea said on Tuesday it was suspending the operations of two nuclear power reactors and extended a shutdown of a third to replace cables that were supplied using fake certificates. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Thursday, November 28th. I'm Luke Clary. Operations at the Cori Nuclear Reactor 1 in Busan have been suspended. Early reports say that there's a problem in the turbine system. Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Corporation said the operation of Kori Nuclear Reactor 1 came to a halt today at around 1 a.m. An official said it looked like there was an issue with the reactor's turbine system and the company is working to identify the exact cause of the suspension. The 580,000 kilowatt Kori 1, the nation's oldest nuclear reactor, went into operation in 1978. Its design life expired in June 2007, but its reoperation was approved in January 2008 and will be run for 10 more years. During a checkup period this year, the operation of Kori Nuclear Reactor 1 was halted for 176 days. It resumed operation on October 5th, but now it is out of order again after around 50 days. With Kori 1 out, 6 out of the nation's 23 nuclear reactors are not functioning. The six include Shingori-1 and 2 and shin Walsung one which were suspended in the wake of a scandal over the use of unqualified parts. Also, Walsung one's lifespan expired while Hanbit-4 is undergoing a checkup. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Friday, October 11th. I'm Luke Clary. Three people were injured in an accident at the Shingori nuclear power plant. The plant, which is still under construction, was already under scrutiny for questionable safety standards. Reactor 3 of the Shingori nuclear power plant is set to begin operating next year in August. Yesterday afternoon, an electrical accident occurred in the reactor's refrigerating device, injuring three officials, two from the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power and one from another company. They received burns from sudden sparks while they were examining the power circuit breaker of the refrigerating device. The severity of the burns ranges from first to third degrees. The injured workers were rushed to a nearby hospital to undergo medical treatment and are reported to be in stable condition. But the executives of the nuclear power plant didn't report the accident to police, raising suspicions of their attempts to conceal it. Reactor 3 made headlines before for using components supplied by a company that had forged safety evaluation papers. A recent parliamentary inspection also revealed that nearly half of the key components used in the reactor regarding its safety were inspected by the supplying companies and not by experts. The government is pushing for the construction of high-voltage power transmission towers in Miryang despite the residents' opposition since it plans to start the operation of Reactor 3 next year. With such ongoing issues, concerns and distrust over the reactor's safety continue to escalate as next year approaches. South Korea said on Tuesday it was suspending the operations of two nuclear power reactors and extended a shutdown of a third to replace cables that were supplied using fake certificates. After analyzing safety, we found out the control cables didn't show proper performance under high temperature and pressure, which accidents such as refrigerant loss can occur. So we decided to suspend the operations of Shinkori 2 and Shin Walson 1 reactors. South Korea previously halted the operations of some 23 reactors last November after a scandal emerged over parts being supplied using fake documents. The Asian country is heavily dependent on oil, gas and coal imports but usually gets a third of its electricity from nuclear power generation. The reactors, which each have a capacity of 1,000 megawatts, would remain closed for about four months, the government said. The government warned there could be, quote, unprecedented electricity shortages and rolling blackouts this summer due to the nuclear shutdowns. We expect unprecedented supply shortage this summer as we have to meet power demand while three reactors are halted. 
Last year, South Korea was forced to take power-saving measures to avoid blackouts after it closed two reactors to replace parts, also supplied with fake documents, and extended the shutdown of another reactor where microscopic cracks were found. <laughs>